Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. My name is Matt and thank you for stopping by the channel. Now I got a pretty cool pattern for you today. This one is called the Gray Hackle Yellow. Now there are really two different flies in this kind of Gray Hackle series. You've got the Gray Hackle Peacock and the Gray Hackle Yellow. And both of them can be tied as a dry fly or a wet fly. We're gonna do a wet fly today of the Gray Hackle Yellow. So what's the history on this thing? It's really hard to tell. I did see some sources that said the Gray Hackle Peacock was, has been around since the 1700s. Dame Juliana Berners talked about it. We talked about her, you know, the, the monk, the fisherman, not the monk, the nun. <laughs> she was a nun, the fishing nun. So what's the history on this thing? We really don't know a whole lot about it. I did see some sources that say the Gray Hackle Peacock has been around since the 1700s. Dame Juliana Berners, remember the, the fishing nun? We talked about her a couple of weeks ago. She did mention it. So we know it's several hundred years old. And the Gray Hackle Yellow is kind of another variant of it. That's a pretty cool pattern, pretty easy to tie. I got it from uh, Federation Fly Fishers. Uh, Fly Pattern Encyclopedia, a great book. I'll be doing a review on this one here in the next week or two. And one more thing, if you entered the drawing to win the Fly Tying for Beginners book I did in the last review, we'll be giving away those five copies at the end of this video, so stick around. But before that, let's tie this gray hackle, uh, yellow, gray hackle yellow, not peacock, not, okay. But before that, let's tie this gray hackle yellow. So there it is in the vise, the gray hackle yellow. Now I'm going to be tying this on a size 12. It's a 1x short, 1x strong wet fly hook. I've pinched the barb in it and I'm going to be using 12 aught thread. Normally on a size 12 fly I'd probably use 8 aught, but as this is a bit shorter, I think the I think the 12 will give me a little bit more flexibility. Now after you've got a base of thread back to the start of the bin. Just take some red saddle hackle, some of your cheap strung saddle hackle, and I'm pulling out about 12, 15 fibers maybe. And I'm gonna measure it to be probably about a hook gap. If you're ever unsure how long to make a tail, just make it a hook gap. That's my rule of thumb. So a couple of wraps there to lock it in. I think that length looks fine. Now I'm gonna keep it on here and I'm gonna use some of that, those hackle fibers to help make the underbody. Now that's gonna be about the length of my body. Remember, we've got a hackle up front. It's not a big hackle, so you don't need to leave too much room, but definitely leave a little bit. Now let's tie in our rib. I'm using French tinsel. This is a size small and oval. Now, if you don't have this, you can certainly use mylar tinsel or even a wire rib, but I'm gonna catch this in on the near side of the hook. Just open wraps all the way back and back it off a couple of turns and put my wax on the thread. Try not to hit it with, hit your eye and you'll get wax all over the place. So the dubbing on this is just a yellow. It is a gray hackle yellow. I'm using a, a Spirit River. It's a, a synthetic with a little bit of UV mixed in. So this is gonna be a, a bit of a dirty yellow. And I'll put a noodle on here, maybe two inches, maybe just a little bit longer. Pretty, pretty thin. Now I'm gonna use the first couple of millimeters of bare thread to get me back to where I wanna start it and now I'm laying the dubbing. So just make it as smooth and even as you can all the way up to the front. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. Now I'm gonna counter wrap this rib. You probably don't need to, but I mean, why not? It's, it's not gonna look any different. I'm gonna put four or five openly spaced wraps all the way up to the front. I'll catch it in with a couple of tight wraps up here. Now this is not a wire. You're not gonna be able to spin this and break it off. So maybe a couple more really tight securing wraps right there before we reach in here and snip this. 
and you don't really even have to worry about that that nub sticking up right there it's not sharp now the last component we're going to put on this is some gray partridge now what i've been doing I've been taking one of the small feathers and stripping off all the fibers from one side. You probably don't need to do that. So if you want to, go ahead and tie in the whole feather by all means. And if, if it's not too heavily hackled, then you're good to go. But if it ends up being too heavily hackled, then you can just strip off all the fibers from one side. So I'm going to create that little V notch right there and catch it in on the near side of the hook with two good turns and then I'm going to fold this back over on itself and make a couple two or three more turns now we do have this tip we're going to need to contend with so let's go ahead and snip that off now we're going to need hackle pliers for this one we've only got about an inch of feather to work with now if you're using these type hackle pliers right here notice this one it's pretty smooth brass plate right there and there's not a whole lot of tension holding it now I picked up a pair of these from Jay Stockard recently and these, uh, there's a lot of tension holding this and there's the waffle pattern on that brass. So for a couple dollars more, these are some great hackle pliers I could strongly recommend. So take the tip your feather with the hackle pliers. Now it's not a brittle feather, it's very pliable, but it's also not really strong. So you can't put a whole lot of tension on it when you're wrapping it. So I will pull these back and hold them back while I gently wrap it around and we're probably going to get two maybe three turns because I've only got about an inch of fibers on this feather so that's two right there is the third one going to put more fibers down I think it is so let's go ahead and and bring the third one around right here and do this pretty pretty gently or you you might you know you the fiber, this feather is not going to slip out of these hackle pliers, but it could break if you put too much tension on it. So I'm going to go ahead and release that. I've got two good wraps. Let's go ahead and put two more tight wraps before we snip off this butt end right here. And I got a little nubbin right there, but you know what? I can bury that with my head. So. Take my thread back up to the eye and then just lay down some extra thread wraps right here building up our head okay i think we're good right there i'm not going to worry about that little nubbin i don't think the fish are going to care and this is a fishing fly so four or five turn whip finish and a drop of head cement and the gray hackle yellow is done might have a little bit of cleanup if you got any rogue fibers. In this case, I think we're fine. I'm going to put some head cement and then put this in my box as is. So that's all, folks. I appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Hey, folks. Thanks for sticking around. As you can see, I've got 15 names, the entries on the page here from Edward to All Outdoor Nova Scotia, Tanner Thomas Mike, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to John was the last entry we got. So let's go to our drawing screen here. Now, quick warning, I did not put anything in the script that would prevent us from drawing the same name twice. So if we do draw the same name twice, we'll just go on to the next one. So first one, the first one going to be getting a book is Edward Chavez. Edward, congratulations, Edward. You're getting the first book. And the second one is Tanner Peavy. Congratulations, Tanner. Now, the third book is going to go to... Ted Tarrant. So Ted, that's number three. So who do we have? We have Edward, Tanner, and Ted. All right, now the fourth book is going to Ron Brooks. Ron Brooks, number four. So we had Edward, Tanner, and Ted, and Ron. And the fifth and final book is going to Landon Marshall. All right, congratulations, gentlemen. I really appreciate you watching and supporting the channel. And if you didn't win this time, hey, stick around. November, the giveaway in November is going to be amazing. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thanks, folks. Uh, take care, and we'll see you next time.